And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking the Dwarf Beast Tribe in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we've done all the pre-quests. We've had this uh, quest unlocked as of the launch of five, patch 5.3. And um, I've made a separate summary video of how to get to this point. But let's start it. So the quest is called It's Dwarfing Around. A Tomra Dwarf finds himself far from home. Far by Tomra standards, that is. So, bugger my beard, you scared the life out of me. Phew, for a moment I thought you were a hobgoblin. Seems to be... Sorry, it seems being so far from Tomra has got me jumping at shadows. Hold on, I know you. So, you're the one who was helping run it. As for me, the name's Rigid. I forgot to introduce myself before. But I was there when that off little lad uh, gave his first proper laddy ho. What? You don't remember me? In all fairness, the fact that you've co you're he covered from head to toe in identical outfits does make it a little difficult to tell one dwarf from the next. Well, they have their ways and we have ours. Anyway, it's wonderful to see you again, Mifri. Uh, Rigid was just asking us for directions. Um, I'd almost forgotten about that. Actually, I was on my way to, uh, what was it called? Uh, Crystal Town? No, no, that's not it. Uh, something to do with crystals. Yeah. Um, why can't I remember the sodding name? It's Crystarium. You see, uh, Ron is nowhere to be found. He did leave a note behind in Tomra. Yes, the letter. I have it right here. So, to whoever might be concerned, I am off to Crystarium to find my first and best friend, Mifri. If the chief asks where I've gone, just make something up. The automata will take care of my work, so he should have no reason to complain. Oh, and don't forget to feed them while I'm away. With coal, that is. Bye. And that's what it says, anyway. That boy may have mastered the fine art of a good old-fashioned Ali Ho, but that won't get him very far in the Crystaria, or whatever it's called. Yes, and even if the opening pleasantries go as planned, it's what to come after that uh, matters most. He'd be the first to admit that polite conversation isn't exactly his forte. Since he went here they're looking for Mifri. Maybe the two of you could go and find him before he gets into or causes any trouble. That reminds me. Uh, will Ronit be being away lead to any difficulties in the rock phosphate for grog arrangement between our villages? The Orhand um, ogre he built seems to be going about his work as normal, even without him here to operate it. But I think we'll be fine for the time being. Alright, that settles it. We're off to find Ronit, although I should probably point out that this is actually the first time I've gone more than a mom or so outside of Tomra. I'm counting on you, so please try and keep the mishaps and misadventure to a bare minimum. Um, not that I'm scared, mind you. Uh, not one bit. Uh, without any further ado, let's make haste for Chris Dilferarium. You pronounce those words like I do. And we wish you both a safe journey to the Crystarium. Okay. So. Once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to the Crystarium. So let's talk to Rigid. So I've never seen so many people in one place. Unfortunately, not one of them is our errant engineer. Uh, where could he be? 
I wouldn't be surprised if he's whimpering in some corner, wishing that he'd never come here. With all these big folk walking about, he's probably uh, scared one of them will trip over him. Well, slap my ass and call me a puka. Uh, you're the second to honest god's uh, dwarf I've seen today. Really? So where was the first? Over at the mean. Uh, playing hide and seek by the looks of it. Or maybe he was just lost. That's him. It's got to be. Come on, Mifri. Let's go and nab him before he runs off again. Okay, so we need to go there. So, once we get to him, we will continue. Okay, we've made it, so let's talk to him. So, this is the mean, eh? From the name, I thought it'd be full of scolding faces, but they all seem quite friendly. Anyway, where'd Ronick get to? Ah, found him. So oh, many of them. So sodding tall. I wish Mish Mifri was here. Mifri detected. Mifri. Oh. Oi, watch it, shot us. Oh, he must be from London. So, when you heard that Mithri is staying in the Crystarium, you came here looking for her? That's quite the journey for one so young. Getting here was easy. Starting conversations was hard. Every time I tried to give someone a good old-fashioned lally-ho, they look at me like I'm daft or something. Never mind all that. You found Mithri in the end. Or she found you, more like. Uh, come to think of it, uh, why were you looking for her in the first place? It's simple, really. I always thought Mifri was just a, I don't know, helpful traveller or some such. But the chiefs tell me that she's a hero who risked life and limb to save the world. When I heard that, I thought that it's only the right that I do the same. Trouble is, I'm not sure where to start. But I'm not going to going back to Tomra until I find a way to prove myself your equal. And while I'm not much of a fighter, there are other ways I can help those in need. Because unlike the rest of my village, who can't uh, think beyond their uh, pint of ale, I've got big dreams, ambitions. Now now, there's nothing wrong with a well-earned drink or even ten after a hard day's work. But that's besides the point. How can you hope to compete with someone like Mifri? You might uh, be known as the greatest warrior of the world's ever seen. But there's one thing I can do better than you. Crafting. Have you seen my YouTube channel? I mean, come on. Don't you dare say it. <laughs> ah, I'm a crafter too. You fluffy beard nincompoop. Actually, I've been known to dabble in um, artisanry myself. Yeah, some people know me as a crafter. What? You must be joking. Now, there's a surprise. Um, had I known sooner, I'd have asked you to help around the mean. Um, if you have a moment to spare, come and see me. 
have all sorts of tasks lined up for a master craftswoman. Trust me, to make friends with one of those annoying people who's good at everything, I suppose there's no need to make it into a competition though. Why don't we, uh, what's the word, cooperate? There might be someone around here who needs our help. How about you, miss? Uh, got anything that needs mending? Or maybe uh, one of my patented automata can carry out a few menial tasks? Um, where to begin? We did receive a report a few days ago of a caravan of merchants being attacked by roving Sin Eaters, not far from Sullen. Uh, while they were able to escape without any casualties, they had no choice but to abandon almost all of the produce that they were transporting. I fear it's only a matter of time until it happens again. Is there anything I can do? So you can do. Sin Eaters, bugger that. Uh, this uh, fetch uh Mecha Toad might come in handy. A few extra sp spiky bits could do the trick. Hmm. On second thought, it might take more than that. Um, I'll need somewhere to use as a workshop to carry out some modifications. You mean to say that you can build these yourself? Um, it certainly is imposing. In a way, only a three-wheeled mechanical frog can be. Now, there's a fine compliment if ever I heard one. I think um, this example of Dwarven Engineering was lovingly crafted by young Ronit here. Um, he's a descendant of the great blacksmith Watts, and, well, well on his way to becoming the pride of Tomra um, in his own right. And judging by the quality of his work, um, I can see why. In fact, I have a proposal. If you're willing to lend us your expertise, we can arrange space for you to use as a workshop. Really? When I say space, that's essentially all there is. We'd planned to build a storehouse near the Ostol Imperative, but we had to divert our resources elsewhere, and it was never completed. It seems to me that you'd put it to good use. After all, a friend of Mifri's is a friend of ours. That's very generous of you, miss. I'll turn that place into a first-class workshop in two shakes of a newborn's beard. Excellent. I'll inform those at the Imperative so that they aren't too surprised when automata start appearing out of the blue. I suggest you make yourselves known to uh, Lorafia, who owns the land. He's a regular at the Clearmelt Springs, so uh, try there first. Sounds like uh, some meeting and greeting is in order. I reckon it'll go a lot smoother um, if uh, you're there to cover for me in the likely event I put my foot in it somehow. I also have no bloody idea how to get there. Lead the way. Okay. Well, we need to go to Clear Melt. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, we made it. So let's talk to Run It. So, this is Clear Mel, eh? Funny name for a bunch of rocks and a couple of ponds, if you ask me. More importantly, where's that uh, Lotharia person? You there, old crone. I'm looking for Lorafia. Uh, you know where she is? Call me an old crone again and I'll rip the silly beard off and shove it down your throat. You mouthy little gobshite. But if it's uh, Lorafaria you're after, you're looking at her. What do you want? Wondering why you're sitting in the rain. Are you depressed? So, Catley sent you, did she? Hmm. If she thinks that you're alright, that's good enough for me. So, tell me, what are you planning to make in this workshop of yours? And 
don't go thinking that you can impress me with a load of technical jargon. I was an engineer myself, you know. I'm going to modify this here uh, automaton uh, so that it can transport goods and keep them safe from seniors. Ah, it won't be transporting much of anything with those stubby little arms, let alone fend off attackers. And even if it could store goods in its torso, by the time it's done windmilling into the basses, all those wares will have been shaken to buggery. Good luck to the poor sods who have to sell that. Yeah, but the windmilling's the best part. I run it, the old woman has a point, you know. Less of the old, or I'll use that beard of yours to scrub the baths, with the rest of you still attached. So we need a way to carry as much as possible, uh, while uh, striking the sin eaters from a distance. That's it. Everyone gather round. You're gonna just add like a cannon to it. Yeah, tank, there you go. <laughs> so, Wicked White. It's so old, the ink's probably the only thing holding it together. The design's from the days before the Flood. The brainchild of the great uh, Watts himself. Um, it's a self-propelled transportation device armed to the teeth. I call it the Roland Tankard. Its thick iron shell keeps the cargo inside safe and sound while the cannon blasts any attackers to smithereens. What an amazing coincidence that uh, you've had the perfect solution in your pocket this whole time, even before you knew what the problem was. Yeah, it's convenient, isn't it? This ain't no coincidence. Ever since I found a bunch of blueprints in a tightly locked safe back when I was little, I've taken them with me wherever I go. Never know when Watts' ideas might come in handy. Of course, I'm not gonna just um, make one of these. Oh no, I'll make a whole bunch of them and send them all over Northrend. Soon everyone will see how great Dwarven engineering really is. But this only shows how they look from the outside, with no mention of the inner workings. Are you sure you can pull this off? I bet my beard on it. And to be honest, Dwarven technology has come a long way since Watts' time. He probably didn't design the insides because there was no way to actually make something like this back then. Luckily, we've got my skills to bring Watts' ideas to life. Um, I'll have a prototype up and running in no time. Listen, Ronit. You're not the only one who knows how to swing a hammer around here. If we combine our efforts, uh, it'll be ready even sooner. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. I must say that I'd be interested to see how this all turns out. Um, I'll let you use my land as long as you don't turn it into a smoldering crater. You won't regret this, but if we're to build a workshop, we'll need a few more pairs of hands. I'll head back to Tomra and round up some volunteers. Hold it right there. this place is going to be overrun with dwarves, at least give me some way to tell you apart. How am I t meant to know who's who if you all dress like that? Not sure if you realise this, madam, but we dwarves don't exactly have extensive wardrobes. But in the interest of smooth running operation, I'll ask my friend Karur if there's anything we can do. Okay, so much for helping. More like, uh, bugger off back to Tomra and leave poor old Ronit to do everything by himself. Well, you're still here, so you can give me a hand instead. Let's go and take a look at this plot of land, shall we? Okay. Well, where do I need to go? I need to go all the way over there. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, we made it to Ronit, so let's talk to him. 
So welcome to the workshop, or workshop to be, I suppose, I should call it. Either way, this is where what's his vision will become a reality. Although I have to admit it, it's not going to be easy as I've made out. Having you here does make the task seem a little less daunting though. And even though I was a bit uh, miffed at the first, uh, at first to hear of your crafting as well, uh, stealing uh, my thunder and all that, I'm glad that you've got something in common. If you can lend a hand between uh, whatever it is the Warriors of Darkness does, the rest of the time, it would mean the world to me. Uh, what do you say, Mifri? Will you help me? Uh, what the world needs now is tanks. Several tanks, of course I'll. No, you talk yourself into this. Build your own damn tanks. Phew. I was worried that you was going to say no for a moment there. Now, let's make some tanks. So, here. Yeah. Uh, uh, but before that, there was a few things that we need to get in order. We won't get much work done without something at least resembling a workshop. If you're in the mood for helping, maybe you could rustle me up some basic supplies. I've got a list of everything I need. Anyone with even a passing interest in handcrafts should be able to manage it. So I'm sure you'll be fine. As another example of my incredible foresight, I've already had the uh, Fetchomatic uh, Mecha Toad collect a load of random, I mean potentially very useful, materials on the way over. This should be enough. If you somehow manage to bugger it up, don't worry. We've got plenty more. Um, I'll be taking care of the rest of the preparations. So come and see me when you're done. Oh. All right, so I need to synthesize a crate of workshop supplies. So, let's see. Work, shop. A okay, trial synthesis. Let's quickly read this. So you can craft items using trial synthesis. Trial synthesis allows you to practice uh, crafting items without using materials. An ideal method for testing high level recipes. Uh, to begin trial synthesis, open your crafting log, select the desired recipe, then press trial synthesis button to the left of the quick synthesis button, for this button right here. Uh, no items will be used when crafting. Furthermore, even if your trial synthesis proves successful, you will not receive an item, nor will you earn experience points. It's fine. Okay, so let's, uh, let's synthesize. Okay. Let's see how well my macro does. I mean, if you want perfect synthesis, you need to do it manually. I just use macros because I'm lazy. There we go. Um, I didn't even have to do 100%. I just wanted to, just for the sake of showing off. And the more that you increase quality, the more EXP you get. So all done. Let's see what you brought me then. Let's hand over the workshop supplies. It says contains vital pieces of the puzzle that is uh, run its workshop. Unfortunately, you're not privy to the details surrounding their assembly, though rather than being some closely guarded secret, it's largely due to the fact that Rona is hopeless when it comes to adequately explaining anything. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting it to be quite this good. Not showing off, are you? Uh, maybe. Me and the Mecha Toad will take care of the rest. So you go and put your feet up for a bit. I don't want you taking all the credit now. Okay, let's complete.
That's a good start. Uh, there you are. Welcome to Watts' Anvil. The two of you did all this? I can't believe it. Is that you on it? Why, I hardly recognize you. Have you done something with your beard? Well spotted, Karup. According to the legends, Watts had a brown beard and white horns. Seeing as I am his descendant, I thought I'd follow suit. Uh, now that we've got a proper workshop, we can get started on making a prototype for the rolling tank card. Tell the truth, I'm not used to having this sort of pressure. Uh, still, I've got you and the others here to do the heavy lift uh, essential task, so I'm sure everything will go exactly as planned. So speaking of essential tasks, I'll be handling the supply of the various parts and whatnot. So come and see me when you're ready to show us the skills of your of yours. Okay. So Rona and his fellow dwarves have thrown themselves wholeheartedly into their newest enterprise, uh, namely to provide uh, trundling death machines for the needy. Okay. So the Beast Tribe is unlocked. So you have achieved friendly reputation with Watts's Anvil. A Dwarf Beast Tribe quests are now available from Mirja at Watts Anvil. Furthermore, you may now purchase wares for Mizut. Okay. So um, I'm now going to start doing the daily quests every day. Um, on my way to getting all my crafters towards level 71. When they're all level 71, um, I'll carry on the crafting series for 71 to 72. So, um, anyway guys, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.